in this astronomy video lesson we are going to get acquainted with the planet Uranus and its 27 natural satellites. Again, I'm using this uh, fun puzzle game to look at the satellites while I am sorting some of them on their correct in their correct order. <clears throat> now, Uranus is the seventh seventh planet in order in the solar system and it is the third biggest planet in it. Uh, along with um, Neptune, they are both icy gas giants, which is different than uh, Jupiter and Saturn. Uh, they, uh, that is why they look uh, so blue, like uh, the other gas giants, uh, Uranus, uh, has an atmosphere of uh, uh, hydrogen and helium, but its mantle is consisted of ammonium ammonia ices, along with uh, water, just like uh, Neptune. <coughs> also, uh, it is uh, lighter, it is the lightest gas giant, and uh, for a difference uh, that Neptune is the densest gas giant, gas giant. Uranus is the lightest. Uh, Earth can be put 10 times in it. And uh, what is most bizarre about Uranus is that uh, it uh, rotates uh, it, its axis almost hor horizontally, hor horizontally. Like that and not like the other uh, planets, ver almost vertically with an obliquity of uh, 98 degrees seen here at the bottom bottom <coughs> uh, that means that um, uranus is always point pointing one of its pole uh, to the sun so uh, uh, one day on, on uranus takes uh, about um, 17 hours hours uh, because it is spinning faster than earth but uh, anyway the day is dark and the night is also dark because only the pole is pointing to the sun this is strange isn't it <coughs> and uh, finally uranus is uh, discovered during uh, 1781 year with uh, its uh, major five major satellites. The rest of the natural satellites are found by Voyager 2 space probe during its uh, pass uh, in the year 1985 86. <coughs> <coughs> uh, that's no good. <coughs> I'm, I need to can talk. Okay, so uh, now I'm I'm following all the moons from the first one, which is Cordelia, natural satellites of of uh, Uranus number one. Cor Cordelia is discovered during uh, 1986 by Voyager, <coughs> and it belongs to the group of the inner moons. Its diameter is 40 40 kilometers and its orbital period is 8 hours, that means it goes around um, Uranus about 8 hours. Natural satellite number 2 is Ophelia, uh, discovered in 1986, belong to the group of the inner moons with a diameter of 43 kilometers and orbital period of 8 hours. These three are very small piece of pieces of rocks. With the third one is Bianca, with a diameter of 51 kilometers, and going around Uranus for 10 hours. 
also discovered by Voyager 2 in 1986. Now I must find the third moon of Uranus here at the bottom. I have uh, I have the numbers of the moon, so this is not a test game, but it is a learning game. So the idea is that if we sort the moons, something may remain in our heads, probably. And number four is Cressida. Cressida with a diameter of 80 kilometers and orbital period of 10 hours. It is discovered in uh, 1986 by Voyager belong to the inner moons. Um, number five is Desdemonia. It is a small piece of rock with a diameter of uh, 64 kilometers going around Uranus for 10 hours. Uh, natural satellites number six, this is Juliet. <coughs> like we see, the moons are named after uh, famous protagonists in, from the history. Uh, Juliet with diameter of uh, 94 kilometers and going around uh, Uranus for 12 hours. Uh, I'm looking for the next one. This is Portia. Portia looks uh, a little bigger. Uh, we have an artistic drawing so because we don't have good pictures of these small objects. So Portia with a diameter of uh, 135 kilometers going around uh, Uranus for 12 hours. Also, <coughs> also discovered uh, by Voyager 2 in 1986. Uh, the next one is uh, Rosalind, natural satellites na satellite number 8. Uh, Rosalind, also discovered by Voyager in 1986, with a diameter of 72 kilometers and orbital period of 12 hours. Now, now natural satellites number 10 is Cupid, with a diameter of 18, 18 kilometers. We we almost can see one end of this piece of rock while we stand on the other one, probably, if it is a clear weather. <laughs> but uh, this one is discovered during 2003, uh, quite late than the other moons, but uh, uh, this is uh, so far in year 2020. 27 satellites, maybe there will be more in the future. So we are going to satellite number 10 which is Belinda, natural satellites number 10, uh, belong to the inner groups of moon, discovered by Voyager in 86 and a diameter of 90, 90 kilometers going around Uranus for 14 hours. <coughs> Next one is Perdita. Another small piece of rock with a diameter of 30 kilometers, orbital period of uh, 14 hours. And we are going to moon number 20. Now, oh, no, uh, moon number, excuse me, num number 12. Uh, that is, we are, we are still in the inner moons ring. That is Pak, discovered uh, 1985 by Voyager, one of the first things it have discovered. <coughs> the diameter is quite big, 162 kilometers and orbital period of 15 hours. Uh, now moon number 13 is Mab, uh, discovered a little later during 2003 with a diameter of 25 kilometers and orbital period of one day. And with this moon we are finished the inner 
the inner moons and up here so now this group is the major moons group and uh, we are looking at number 14 which is Miranda <coughs> uh, natural satellites number 13 Miranda is discovered uh, in 1948 so it is not by Voyager obviously but Miranda is uh, only not only but uh, 471 kilometers and orbital period of 1.4 days Earth days so we are going to moon number 15 which is Ariel this is uh, Okay, Ariel discovered in 1851. This is before Voyager, uh, when Uranus was discovered by Earth telescopes. Now, Ariel is uh, quite bigger with a diameter of uh, 1157 kilometers and orbital period of two days, two and a half days. The next one, moon number 16, this is Umbriel, also discovered in 1851, belong to the group of the major moons with a diameter of 1169 kilometers and orbital period of 4 days. And we are going to the to the two biggest moons that is uh, ti ti Titania Titania with a diameter of 1576 kilometers it is the biggest moon of Uranus and it is discovered along with Uranus Uranus back in the far 1787 year uh, its orbital period is around uh, 9 days and the natural satellites number 18 is Oberon uh, <coughs> Oberon is almost uh, bigger uh, like uh, Titania with a diameter of 1522 1, kilometers going around uh, Uranus for 13 days also discovered in 1787 natural satellites number 19 is Francisco and with Francisco we are entering in the, into the retrograde group of moons this is the, the last group of moons here it is the far farest in the in the ring, in the small ring of, uh, it is not small, of Uranus. It is smaller than Jupiter's ring, that is. And let's place uh, Caliban, natural satellites number 20, discovered in 1997. It uh, has a diameter of 72 kilometers and going around uh, Uranus for 5,070 579 days 100 uh, like we see these uh, retrograde moons they are quite far so they are going around uh, um, Uranus for longer time so this is almost you have to wait almost two years to see this moon passing in the Uranus sky well, the thing is that uh, you can't see it because it's too far. <laughs> but we can imagine that. So the moon number 21, that is Stefano, discovered in 1999, belong to the retrograde moons uh, group and with a diameter of 32 kilometers, very small piece of rock going around uh, Uranus for almost two years. 
number 22 is uh, Trinculo, found uh, pretty late in 2001, with a diameter of 18 kilometers, going around Neptune for two years, a long, long time. <coughs> now, before I sort the the last the um, moon number 23, which is Sycarox, Sycarox. I will just check the rest of the moons because I will finish the game. This is Margaret, number 24, discovered in 2003, and it is in the prograde groups of moon. So this group is uh, is very very different than the retrograde, if that is correct. So this is uh, with very strange orbit, uh, orbit that is going around uh, Uranus for four years, four years. And uh, new moon number 25, this is Prospero, found in 1999, retrograde group for five years orbital period. 26 is uh, Setebos with Shes with six years orbital period and diameter of 48 kilometers and the farthest moon known so far this is Ferdinand found uh, in 2003 with a diameter of 20 kilometers and going around Uranus for seven years and let's sort uh, moon number 23 this is Sycarox which is quite large, a diameter of 165 kilometers. With this, I get my new knowledge level for today. Now, class dismissed, go play games.